The gracious lady, June Chebet, has gone to rest. Just like everybody else, we have a past. And I only want to say what I know about the gracious lady. She was known as June Chebet Moy. Uh, for some time, she also adopted the name June Chebet Kubasu. There's a time she got married to Justice Emmanuel Kubasu's son. So there was a time she could be called June Chebet Kubasu. Uh, but you'll bear with us that uh, ladies who come from prominent families, I don't say that Kubasu is not a prominent family, but you see, when two lights are together, the floodlight becomes more powerful than the other uh, light. So you find that um, the Kubasu family is not as prominent as the Moi family. So she, she is more known as June Chebet Moi. She was, she was adopted by Daniel Toretich Arab Moi when she was four years old. For her to be adopted, uh, Mama Lena Moy had to approve. Uh, that adoption is the main point of my talking here. And of course, for those of you who may have watched the tape on uh, Catherine Casavulli, you may have noticed something. But I'll come to that. Uh, Lena Moy, Mama Lena Moy, her real name, her full name was Helena Moy. Helena Moy. So they shortened it and called her Lena Moy. Lena Moy had characteristics which could be uh, which could be equated to Mama Lucy Kibaki. A very controlling, harsh lady. Actually, the difference between Mama Lena Moy and uh, Daniel Arab Moy came from the fact that uh, Jomo Kenyatta was elderly and whenever there was an official dance, uh, there was this rumba, Moy, uh, Kenyatta could not dance with Mamangina for the, those long ling, the rumba songs. So there were occasions when he would tell uh, Moi to dance with Mamangina. But Mama Lena Moi used to feel that that type of dancing is immoral to a Christian. Say the, somebody's spouse should not dance with another person that closely. It was because of that that Moi told Mama Lena Moi that uh, some things come with, with the, 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 what do you call that? Those are professional hazards. She has to bear in mind that uh, for him to continue with his profession, he has to do that, but she could not accept. So uh, her differences with her husband can be called separation, not divorce. It cannot be called divorce because she she, they, 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 she she used to stay in Eldama Ravine. Uh, she came from the Musa Sirma family. And uh, she had set aside her, her house where she had sworn that the day Moi would retire from politics, that day she uh, they would uh, uh, rejoin. Can I say rejoin? So... Uh, Lena Moy was so strict, she wanted to give a picture of a family, a perfect Christian family. Was Moy's family perfect Christian family? I would answer you this, there is nothing like a perfect Christian family. We all try to have a perfect Christian family. It is only that you get 66% and I get 33%. We are, both of us, we are not 
perfect Christian families. Now what happened was, and take it from me, June Chebet Moi was not Moi's adopted child. She was Moi's biological child. But because Mama Lena Moi wanted it to be seen, you know, Moi, as June Chebet's biological father, wanted to bring her as his daughter like any other daughter or any other child. But Mama Lena Moi could not accept a situation where she would be seen to be having a stepdaughter. So documentation was done. And you see, June, Chebet Mo, June Chebet's mother was there. And here is the president, no, the vice president, and the second lady, very powerful individual, isn't it? And uh, the situation then, we didn't have human rights people to intervene. So Moi had to do it on paper, as though June Chebet was his adopted child. But um, June Chebet was his biological child and was Gideon Moi's stepsister. Not adopted sister, but stepsister. Get it that. Uh, that is how she grew up. Uh, she also was controversial because uh, she, 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 there, there was a long running case, and which I'm not very sure of how it ended, about this corner house. There is a, a good building next to uh, Hilton Hotel called Corner House. There, she, there was a time I'm aware she had, she had an ownership struggle with the, over, over that building for some time, and I don't know how it ended. Uh, I also wanted to talk this thing that... Um, now, I want also to repeat what I had said in the Catherine Kasavuli uh, tape, and uh, I, I would also request you to watch the Catherine Kasavuli tape. You see, for people in authority to come up with a story about Catherine Kasavuli, Catherine Kasavuli was, and even when she died, she was there. Uh, let me not say because her son is an adult and. It is unfair for him to come to across each this recording uh, where I have to talk about uh, Catherine, her looks and her behaviors and everything about her. She was the perfect Kenyan lady, one could imagine. So it was decided that they take her as a scrap code to defray, to, to defray the condition that was there at the time of Kandambongo man. Why am I saying that? Kandambongoman himself has not come out clean. At one time he was saying that uh, when he was chased away from Kenya is when he sang their song Namuchana. And another time she, he also, I heard him also saying that he sang the Namuchana. While he was driving uh, in Paris, the, the song came and he stopped and recorded the stanzas that he had come. Uh, there was... Uh, and then there was, there was the lies that people were cheating. People were cheating that uh, the there was a difference between the principal immigration officer, Frank Winger, and Oyugi. No. Oyugi was so powerful that uh, only Moi was more powerful than him. You remember, Kandambongo Man was given canoe membership by the vice president, Saitoti. But then... Uh, whatever Yugi told Moi, it was quashed. Uh, so he was more powerful than the vice president. So Quinga, Quinga would be very careful not to cross his, his uh, swords with with the Oyu, Ezekiel Yugi. Uh, there is uh, the wedding where Kandambongo man was to, at, to 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 entertain people freely. The wedding of uh, Oyugi's daughter, that one is okay, that is documented and that is true. But also true, and uh, this is when you are hearing it for the first time, 
at that time I was in Eldoret and we were told to be on the lookout to organize ourselves because Kandabongo man went to Uganda. Is it immediately or soon after? I don't know, but somehow he, I can't remember. There, but somehow he ended up uh, having some sessions in Uganda, in Kampala. So we were told an SF letter came. SF means secret file. An SF rep uh, report came where we were told those people along the road Nakuru, uh, Eldoret, uh, Kakamega, Bungoma, Busia. We were told to be on the lookout. And we people in Nakuru, I was in Eldoret, people in Nakuru and we in Eldoret, we were told to have a close look, a close uh, monitoring of the state lodge in Eldoret. Because it was believed that Moise adopted a child. Moi's adopted child, our adopted daughter, was heading to Uganda to attend Kandambongo Man's, uh, Kandambongo Man's uh, dances. And we were told, and you know those days, even today, <laughs> if today, let's say Ruto's child oversped, and you are a traffic police officer, what do you do? You know, you have to, eh? Kanyaga Katik, you, 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 you have to be very careful with the way you handle. So, when you are told that the president's adopted child is going to Kampala and make all efforts to stop her from going to Kampala, you see, it is a way of stopping her, but diplomatically way and being very careful because any false step, any false step, you are home, you are sacked. So I want to say this at this time, that one of the reasons why Kandambongo man was chased was had to do with that trip. You know, when uh, our, our colleagues in Nairobi, maybe Wajakoya knows, our colleagues in Nairobi may have been monitoring her and may, may have noticed that she had an interest in, in Kandambongo man. And also we were told to stop her. We were told to stop her. If you check uh, my Catherine Kasavuli recording, I've, I, I, I'm not saying it when she's dead. I said it when Catherine Kasavuli had died. She wanted to go to, to Uganda and we were stopped. And why was Catherine Kasavuli placed there? Because of her beauty, of her elegance, and the way Kenyans... You see, those days we did not have social media, but even those days, a good rumor would make people concentrate and not notice somebody passing through. So that is what uh, was there. And back to adoption, what, which I had forgotten, I wanted to say that uh, for anybody to adopt a child, look at that person. There are those who adopt a child because they are unable to bear uh, their own children. Or because of their profession, you see the lady may be may, the lady may be uh, professionally busy the lady may be professionally she could be very busy professionally uh, such that uh, she could not have time to go through the getting pregnant, giving birth, maternity leave or anything. There are those ladies and there are those couples that feel because of that. She, she could not even be busy. There are some ladies who just do not want to carry pregnancy, but they want kids. Those are uh, those do ad adapt. We have those who have children with funny sicknesses. During our, during our forefathers, the lady would be allowed to, hmm, so that one child ha does not have the family deformity or something. Those ones are allowed to adapt. Then there is also those who, you have boys only, and you wanted to have a daughter. We have those who adapt. Then uh, we have also others who have girls only, and they want a son, they want to adapt. But the boys had sons, and they had daughters. So 
the excuse of adapting her was not there. The truth of the matter is that uh, Moi Alicheza away game and the child had to be integrated into the family and nicknamed as an adopted daughter.